um, our kids, man. And that's where the change began. No, I totally get that. And and history can be fun. It's just a question yeah. on how we frame it and how you can look at it. So, Why? And it's also a... And there is also a challenge and a call to action to all of us, in my opinion, to 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 be proactive and, and go after information. And you gotta have a, a driven, a self-driven energy and motivation to. Who am I? Where do I come from? What's my there you go. past? Yeah. What's behind right. me? So information is available actually on right. the internet, books. It's just a question right. on of us being curious and and awakening a side of our minds. Uh, right. to really go and dig deeper. And sometimes it's something in our lives and, or something in our in our journey that, that really right. triggers that, that oh, yeah. um, passion on our, on our experience. And in your case, I can feel it was your father. He played a, an important yeah, role. My father. Yeah. yeah. And you are doing that to your children now. So that's... Oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Very, You're, most definitely. And and I think what you just said, I mean, it is that's what it all comes down to finding out, you know, finding out true identity, you know, really discovering who we are. Um, you know, I have mentioned to you, I mean, I'm, I'm discovering you asked me, who is James Jones? I, it's like it's kind of hard to answer that because I'm, bec I'm I'm always becoming what I was yesterday is what I'm not today. I'm always becoming I'm always pulling out of who I am. And I'm always learning more about myself. And I think that's the, the factor and what we need to be able to pour into our young kids because when they know their power, when they know their potential, when they know their strength and what they can do beyond all things, whew, it, it's, it's, beyond, it's, it's beyond, you know? I mean, you can't you can't tell a bird how to fly. A bird doesn't think about flying. What it does is it leaps out there and it soars. It opens its wings and it soars the heavens. So it is it, the same thing as an ocean. The ocean doesn't think of creating waves. It just create waves. It knows exactly who it is. And I think when we in humanity, us people of color. When we come into who we are, uh, our true identity, our DNA, and when we get there and know that, we could be able to pull, like, pull so much out and be able to reach our potential to the highest man and beyond. No, I uh, definitely. And also, uh, even before we go into our movie exactly and talk more about the movie, one other very important thing is that even us in Africa, we also don't know a lot about our history. So we are right. also part of a different way and we have a, a Western perspective. So we are in Mozambique. Uh, so my country is, is, is Mozambique. And okay. we, we were a part of the Portuguese empire. So colony, a oh, former wow. Portuguese colony. Uh, and the history we learn is mostly the same history that Portugal is teaching in Portugal. So mm. we have a, a Portuguese uh, very linked or a perspective, a Portuguese perspective of Mozambican history. Right. So, and this is happening across the continent. So it's all of us are also being awake and discovering and, and right. having a sense of identity and need of to dig deeper and know more. So that's why it's so powerful to have a, a platform like this and connecting to people like you, because we all are sharing this energy and this um, uh, desire and need, powerful needs to to know more and dig deep into who we that's truly it. are so that right. we can ourselves and i think also uh, james parenting i think as becoming parents i feel also plays a huge role on us as men uh, because we now need to leave a legacy to our children right and give a purpose and a guidance and i think it it all it also uh, pushes us even further that's it that's it i agree yeah and um 
let me also uh, shout out to Frederick Murphy. He's with us. So, Frederick, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> you, Frederick. And you also have uh, another message welcoming you. So, Lam, uh, thank you, Lam, for being with us. Um, Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. So, um, how are things in America now uh, from, uh, because we follow the news about racial tension, the Black Black Lives Matter movement. Now we we are hearing a lot about the stop Asian hate. How are things from a racial perspective in America after Trump, so a new president? Tell us more about this moment in history. Man, I really don't deal too much with politics, um, but what I can speak of, um, history has always been, America has always been what it's been. Um, and I, I, I just feel regardless Trump being in the office or not, um, that, say, that, that, that self-hatred uh, has always been um, the the being prejudiced and racial, all the racial and the black and white colors and all. It's always been; it never died. Um, I, I I just th to me, me personally, I don't. I I look beyond that, you know. Um, I I don't look at a color of any individual. Um, my, I, I guess my whole thing is, man, is, you know, I treat people the way that I want to be treated, regardless of your color. Um, I, I'm not too much caught up into, um, uh, what's really happening in America because it's always stuff happening in America. I completely stopped watching the news almost six, seven years ago. I mean, I would hear it in there pick up a paper and read, come through social platforms or a social network and see certain things, but it's, it's no cease with it because it's always going to be, you know, and I've just, to the point, right, I just kind of rise above it, you know, I've rised above a lot of the things that you may see, uh, things that's been going on, the protest and I just think it's just all about reshaping our mind and, and thinking outside of the box. We, we must take a, a, a different approach to a lot of these things that's going on, right? Um, the police brutality, that's always been. <laughs> it's always been, right? Let's talk about the Black-on-Black -black violence. That's my issue, you know? I mean, we get a bit, ugh, get a bit kind of, you know, when you hear about a white man killing a black man, you know, and we get riled up and we want to, we want to protest and we want to go hard and we want to, you know, burn every house down that we come across. But, hey, I mean, we don't do that for little John and we don't do that for, you know, my man across the street who just got shot down. We don't, we don't protest for that. And that's my issue. You know, we killing ourselves out here. Um, it's been my biggest problem and, and really still can't understand it, man. You know, um, if, if we're about black and black lives matter, we got to really show it, you know, not amongst each other, but also people that's watching, you know, um, and we got to really stand on for what we truly believe in, bro. And that's how I really believe, you know, um, there is a lot of things that's happening, things that's right, things that's not right, uh, things that definitely needs to be resolved within, you know, if you're talking about the police brutality or the racism and, and all of that other stuff. But I feel like we as black people, we have a bigger cause and we must really unite and come together and be able to work together and build upon each other and, and most of all stop killing each other you know because we are our own uh, enemy it's that safe it's that self-hatred we have to kill in us right you know uh